welcome to Momentum's virtual training series, where we invite expert facilitators to share their knowledge on topics that advance women in leadership. Um, Raven Holloway is going to guide us today on one of the most essential tools of meditation, accessing the creative space within your brain that can become overloaded. And that's all I'm going to share. And Raven is going to give you a little bit of her background um, and more about what she's going to be talking about today. Thank you all so much for joining us. And Raven, take it away. Thank you so much, Andrea. I appreciate you, Dollar. I also appreciate you too. I appreciate Momentum for this opportunity to be able to speak on all things clear to create. And so before we begin, I just wanted to start by saying, um, with the passing of my mom three weeks ago, um, I want to continue to honor her uh, with the work that I do with addiction treatment and wellness. What I know for certain is that you are your greatest investment and there is absolutely nothing more valuable than you. And I wanna say that one more time. You are your greatest investment and there is absolutely nothing more valuable than you. So with that being said, I thought we would get started today with first giving ourselves permission to be present in this space. I know that the world demands a lot of our attention, our time, our focus, um, we are not afforded the opportunity to not have distractions. Um, the moment we begin to just even have a time for stillness, we find something that begins to distract us or take us away from just even having a pause. So before we get started, I want you to give yourself permission to be present right here, right now in this space. So for everyone that's on the Zoom, if you could just take a couple of breaths before we even get into the presentation and be talking about Clear to Create, just begin to breathe. Just take a couple of breaths. Let's just take a moment. There are still people coming into the room, but right now let's be intentional about giving ourselves permission to be in this space, knowing that you are your greatest investment and there is absolutely nothing more valuable than you. I'm gonna share my screen, continue to breathe. Here we are. I wanna talk for the next few moments about clear to create. And the reason why it's entitled clear to create is because I truly believe, and I know this for certain because with the passing of my mom three weeks ago, um, I was already overloaded with all of the things. And now I have found myself in the heart of grief and um, in order for us to have a creative space, we certainly have to make room to clear some things so that we can create a beautiful canvas. And we all have the capacity to do that. I wanna walk you through that today. Uh, here's, a, here's the agenda. I'm gonna just kind of go through this briefly. I wanna talk for just a moment about the mountain. I'm gonna talk about meditate to feel. That may sound weird, but just give it a moment. Then I'm going to talk about clear to create. I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about the breath. And I'm going to talk about meditate to manifest. And then I'm also going to kind of end with create your own canvas. Because again, you are your greatest investments and there is absolutely nothing more valuable than you. So for just a moment, I want you to look at this slide. And what you see in front of you is a mountain. And I wanna to talk to you about the mountain. And the question is, what 
and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to move this. What what's blocking you? So I'm gonna take this down, and then I'm gonna talk about the mountain so that I can see everyone on the screen. The mountain. The mountain is the block between you and the life that you want to live. Facing it is also the only path to freedom and becoming. I'm gonna say that one more time. And if you can put some things in the chat with what you've heard me say about the mountain, the mountain, I want you to think about what's blocking you from the life that you want to live. What's keeping you from living out the life that not only you want to live, but that you are deserving to live. Again, the mountain is the block between you and the life that you want to live. Facing it is also the only path to freedom and becoming. I submit to you that oftentimes what we do is suppress what we feel rather than face what we feel. Um, and today, during our meditation session, one of the very first things that we're going to do is invite what we're feeling to come to surface. And that may be scary, but I want you to know that you are safe. This is a safe space to do that. And if you, you know, have a piece of paper handy, I want you to take that out because I want you to begin to write down exactly what you're feeling right now in this space. In order for us to create this beautiful canvas, we've got to clear some things. So again, take a couple of breaths and just begin to breathe. I'm going to share my screen again. Remember, the mountain is the block between you and the life that you want to live. Facing it is also the only path to freedom and becoming. The next slide simply says, for the next few moments, this is what I want to invite you to do. I want to invite you to explore exactly what you're feeling. So, for the next few moments, we're gonna go right into meditation. And I want you to give yourself permission to feel, to actually feel. Maybe some of you on this call today, maybe you feel a sense of being overwhelmed. Maybe you feel confused. Maybe you're struggling with clarity, decision-making. Whatever it is that you're feeling, I want you to take a moment to just allow yourself Give yourself permission to feel. So for just a moment, wherever you are, close your eyes and just begin to feel. Just feel, just for a moment. It's okay to feel. We were designed, created to feel. And maybe if you will, if you feel bold enough, if you could share in the chat, and this is gonna help someone today, I truly believe this. Maybe you share with someone exactly how you're feeling so that they know, we know that you're not alone. Like I said, my mom passed three weeks ago and I have found myself right in the heart of grief. And I realized that the mountain that I'm facing with grief, I can no longer suppress it. I can no longer ignore it. I must face it and allow myself to feel all the feels that comes with grieving the loss of my mom. So just give yourself permission to feel. Maybe some of you, like I said, you feel overwhelmed. Maybe you have so many tasks 
at hand, at work, all the things that's demanding your time, maybe your family, maybe it's just so much demanding your time that you feel overwhelmed, you feel depressed, anxious. Again, maybe someone on here is really battling clarity, direction, making decisions. Allow yourself to feel that. Just one more moment. Again, give yourself permission to feel. I see a couple of things in the doubt, um, in the in the uh, in the chat. Someone said they feel regret. Just give yourself permission. to feel, feel worried, self-doubt. You're not alone, uncertainty, fearful, disappointed, sad. This is so important because we don't give ourselves grace and space to feel. We continue to suppress and then we find ourselves in a space where our canvas is completely full and we have no space. And right now, as you're feeling, you're allowing yourself the capacity to clear. Yeah, give yourself permission to feel. I see tired of putting on a happy face at work. I'm struggling personally. I appreciate your transparency. And that's another thing. It's our transparency. It's us um, showing up authentically who we are and saying, I'm not okay. And again, this is a safe space to do that. We just have 30 more seconds. Again, just allow yourself to feel. And maybe someone on the chat, maybe right where you are, if you feel like crying, that's okay too. Just 15 more seconds. We're almost there. 15 more seconds. Let's not rush this. We were designed to feel. And again, I want to ask you, what's blocking you from the life that you want to live, that you deserve to live? I want to talk for just a moment about the breath before I even begin to talk about meditation. And we just did a little bit of that, but we're going to do some more. But right now you and I are breathing and we give no thought when we get up in the morning and we go through our, our day, I truly believe this, that, that we're breathing. We just breathe, we just take in air, we inhale and we exhale. It's very natural that we all do that. But I want you to look at the breath in a different lens today. The breath is a bridge, it's our lifeline. The moment you and I stop breathing, we stop existing. The breath allows this body, this shell that we live in, it gives ability for movement. But what else does the breath allows or give life to? As you and I breathe, we not only give life to this body, we have the capacity to give life to so much more. We have the capacity to give life to whatever it is that we're in need of. And just as you were able to feel all the things that you're feeling, we have the ability, we have the capacity to give life, to create 
and cultivate the life not that we not just the life that we want to live but the life that we are deserving of so for just a moment i want you to take your left hand to your belly and take your right hand and place it over your heart and for just a moment just breathe I want you to feel how your heart is beating and how your belly is moving. I want you to begin to just appreciate your lifeline. Again, we wake up every day. We go throughout our day. We take in oxygen, we inhale, and we don't even think about it. But for just a moment, I want you to appreciate your lifeline and begin to just breathe for just a moment. Again, while you're doing this exercise, if anything any fleeting thoughts are distracting you from just appreciating your lifeline. Give yourself permission to just change the channel. The myth of meditation is that we are able to stop ourselves from thinking, and that is absolutely not true. But we do have the capacity to shift what we are thinking. So just as we allowed ourselves to feel all the things that we feel right now, allow yourself permission to appreciate your lifeline. And take a deep breath in and then slow release. And then maybe take another deep breath in. And then slow release. Right where you are. Sorry that you're not able to, to see my screen share. Meditate to manifest. If you're uh, in the chat, I want to talk for just a moment, a piece of scripture that I'm sure many of you have heard. Be still and know. So many times, I truly believe, including myself, and I always start with me, that we find ourselves so busy doing all of the things that we don't the reason why we can't know is because we're not still. It's only in the stillness that we are able to know what we need to know. That's what meditate to manifest is. It's literally in the stillness. So here's the question I have for you. What is it that you and I need to know? And maybe you say, Raven, well, I don't know what I need to know. I submit to you that it's in the stillness that you're going to be able to know whatever it is that you are in need of. Guess what? It can manifest itself in your life. So now we're going to shift gears and go into a meditative state where we're going to meditate to manifest. And I want you to think truly, what is it that you need to know? Maybe someone on this call needs to know that you are enough, that you're beautiful, that you're worthy. Maybe you need to know that you're forgiven, that you are equipped with everything that you need. 
but it's in the stillness that you're going to be able to know that. So for just a moment, again, we're gonna shift gears into another meditative state. We've allowed ourselves to feel and we've allowed it to pass, but now I want you to give yourself permission to be still so that you're able to know. Know that you are enough. Know that you are worthy. Know that you are beautiful. Know that you are resilient. Know that you are radiant. And know that you are ready. Right here. Right now. So for just a moment, close your eyes. And again, begin to breathe. Just breathe. Every time you and I breathe, again, not only do we give life to this body, but we're able to give life to peace. The type of peace that surpassed all understanding. We don't question the oxygen that we can't see. Why would we dare question the fact that we can't have peace? that is not all around us, that we don't have access to it. It's in the stillness. Breathe in and know that you are worthy. Breathe in and know that you are enough. Every time you breathe in, the natural response is to exhale. So whatever it is that you're in need of, you receive but then you have to also let something go. Again, this is intentional stillness. Give yourself just one more minute, just one more minute. Just breathe. Every time you breathe in, you are restored. You're renewed, you're refreshed. Just 30 more seconds, just breathe. Be intentional. Take a deep breath in and then slowly release it. Take another deep breath in, slowly release it. And then last time, deep breath in and slowly release it. I want to just pause for just a moment and give you an opportunity to maybe scan, just do a body scan. Maybe you came to this call and clearly a lot of you did with uncertainty, with fear. 
my hope is that in allowing yourself and giving yourself permission to feel, you were able to feel to allow it to pass. But during this last time of meditation, that you were able to manifest the reality of the capacity that you have, that you are indeed fearless. You are enough. You are divine creation. You're beautiful. You're resilient. You're radiant. And you're ready. I um, have one more slide. Again, sorry that you can't see my slide. Um, but it says, create your canvas. You know, when you get a canvas, a canvas starts off completely blank. And I wanna ask you a question. What do you want your canvas to look like? Ultimately, we are all writing our legacy right now. What do you want your canvas to look like? Let's see, someone just dropped something in the chat. What do you want your canvas to look like? For me, why I've, where I have found myself right in the heart of grief, I have allowed myself the space and grace. That's literally what's on my canvas. Um, naturally, a lot of folks have been asking me, well, how do you feel? And I've been very transparent. And I've said, well, I don't know. Um, but I know that I am allowing myself to feel and I'm thinking about what I'm thinking about. So on my canvas, I am giving myself grace and space to feel. That's what I'm doing for me. With that, um, I do want to maybe take some questions. Um, or if I have a little bit more time, I can certainly talk about, because uh, someone did mention yoga, uh, yoga and meditation. I um, have also learned that movement is medicine. Um, I was in the, in the bed for about two weeks, I'll be honest, and um, in the bed and in my head. And I told myself, I heard very clearly that movement is medicine. And uh, for maybe some of you who don't know about uh, yoga, I'll talk very briefly about it. I have always said that true yoga is not about the shape of your body. True yoga is about the shape of your life. And true yoga is not a performance. It's not all the stuff that we see on TV. True yoga is to be lived. And true yoga is not about who we've been. It's actually about who we're becoming because we're all in a state of becoming. And this is the part that I love so much. True yoga and meditation is not a religion. It's actually a relationship where self-intimacy is cultivated. And it's where you make you your greatest investment. That's what true yoga and meditation is. So I have began my movement because again, movement is medicine. And I am allowing myself to feel, which is the whole practice of meditation. Um, let's see. Andrew, you want to hop in? Do we have any? Give yourself permission to feel. Let me see here. Um, my mother passed almost six years ago. The grief during the first week was so paralyzed. And thank you for showing up honestly and authentically. Let me tell you, that is the only way I can show up is authentically me. Um, I talk a lot about the fact that 
authenticity um, is what our world is in need of today. There are so many of us, including myself, that are struggling and we just need someone to know, like we need to know like, hey, guess what? I'm not the only one <laughs> because we're not the only one. And um, I appreciate you sharing uh, what you did and uh, what, you, what you just shared about your mom. Um, and I, I truly understand how paralyzing um, I feel that. But again, I'm allowing myself to feel. Um, and I truly believe that, you know, in my continued state of meditation, I'm going to manifest um, the grace to be able to to know that um, that grief uh, cannot own my life. My mom would not want that. So that is, that's where I am today. I love that you said um, you don't have to have an answer. When people say, how are you? So often our answer is that immediate, oh, I'm fine. All right. And um, we've not given ourselves an opportunity to really feel and decide, am I fine? Or do I even know what, I, what my, my feeling is today? Right. You know, I, when you asked about the canvas, I thought, I don't even know what I want my canvas to look like. It needs to have blue on it because blue is my favorite color and blue therefore favorite it, color. Will, it will be blue. <laughs> but beyond that, what I think I've gone so long being fine, I'm mm -hmm. fine. How are you? I'm good. How you feel today? I feel great that it is, I haven't, I don't know how I feel. So I am going to adopt what you said and say, I'm not sure how I feel right now. Yeah. I'm feeling and I'll, I'll, I'll know when I know. Yeah. And I, and I truly believe that it opens up a space where people can appreciate the fact that we were wired to feel. I do want to say something about that, though. Um, our feelings, um, they say a lot to us, but that doesn't mean that we have to respond to what we, we acknowledge what we feel, but that doesn't mean that we have to agree with what we feel. In other words, um, I, I, you know, um, I've worked in addiction treatment for almost 14 years, and I would tell my patients a lot of times, it's you, how do you feel? They, then they'll say, well, I've, I've I really, I felt, or I felt suicidal. I feel suicidal. And I said, okay, I, I acknowledge how you feel, but that doesn't mean you have to agree with that feeling. You don't have to accept that feeling. You don't have to, you don't have to allow that feeling to overtake you. That's why we allow ourselves to feel so that it can surface and it can pass. But again, what we have done is suppressed and suppressed that we are carrying so much that when we have a space to clear, we, 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 we will be clearing for days. So the practice of meditation clear to create is something we must do on a daily basis to really, truly get to the root of exactly what are we feeling and why are we feeling the way that we're feeling? And do you find that because we have suppressed true feeling that we've also suppressed true joy? Um, we've, I, I just, I don't know, that I'll leave it at that question. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, someone really said, um, this call is a positive mood change your good energy boost to finish the work day. Thank you. I'm so glad. I'm glad that this is, this was, you were, you're able to finish the work day in a way uh, that you are deserving of. I've said this uh, before uh, to create the life that you want to live, but not only that you want to live, but that you are deserving of. We're all deserving of living that life. But again, the mountain, the mountain is the block between you and the life that you want to live. Facing it is also the only path to freedom and becoming. We've got to face these mountains that's in our life. Let's see, someone else, uh, uh, let's see. 
while you look at that, um, right, yeah. and I just want to thank you so much for showing up. I know this is a difficult space and it would have been easy to cancel. Um, but I do want to thank you for showing up in such an authentic way. I, um, but Andrea, you mentioned the canvas and I, I, I struggled when, when Raven said, you know, what do we want our canvas to look like? Because I too didn't, like, I, I don't know. I know the colors and I know probably know the flag or the country, you know, <laughs> that I want to put on that, that canvas. But, um, but yeah, I think it's an ongoing, I think it's an ongoing daily exercise. And that's why I think what you're saying about, you know, uh, relinquishing certain things that we've been suppressing and creating that joy. And I think because we have been suppressing so much, I know I don't even, sometimes I don't even know what the joy should look like. Yeah. So I am mm -hmm. reinventing that every single day. And that's what I want to put on that canvas. So thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for chiming in. Yeah, yeah. So um, Raven, there's a question in the chat. Do you see where when we suppress our feelings, we stop living in our true core values? Absolutely. I think a lot of times we have even forgotten what those values are. Mm -hmm. we, we're not, we don't even recognize um, ourselves because we, we have moved into a space where because we've been put on a mask to just to to just exist that we don't even we don't even know the identity of who we are mm. but i truly believe i truly believe that if we give ourselves the grace the space and the permission and, and understanding that this is, this and finding a safe space to do it. Um, I'll be the first to say therapy for me. Um, I've, I have placed myself into therapy. Um, it's necessary, therapy is a good thing. Uh, we've got to eradicate the stigma around therapy uh, because um, uh, some of us, you know, we, 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 we might need maintenance. We might just need to talk to someone. It doesn't mean that you're crazy or, you know, you're gonna do something, but if we don't talk it out, we will act it out. That's mm -hmm. why we gotta, we've got to talk it out. We've got to begin to, again, think about what we're thinking about and, um, and really get back to, um, to allowing ourselves to be authentically who we were created and that's divine creation. That's who we are. Let's see here. So there's there a question there? about where are you on social media, if you are on social media, so that they can follow you. I am. I'm on social media. Uh, social media. I'm on Facebook, uh, Raven Holloway, and I'm also on um, IG, uh, The Raven Holloway. I uh, would love for you to follow me. Um, again, I truly believe that movement is medicine. Um, I, I just encourage you today that uh, get out and get moving. If it's just for a walk, allow yourself to feel all the feels. If you need to cry, if you if you need to shout, whatever you need to do, someone, you know, don't worry about what anyone think. Just allow yourself to feel. Give yourself permission to do that. Um, let's see here. Someone just said it's OK to it's okay to not be okay and to say out loud, we make it worse when we suffer in silence. Absolutely, you are so right. Um, suffering in silence and isolation is something that we as a culture have done for many, many years. And we have truly be, I mean, this is why I wanted to talk today about Clear to Create and Anne Marie, you are absolutely right. I could have just canceled because I wanted to maybe stay in in bed and stay in my head, but I realized that I am not the only one and I don't want to suffer um, in silence. I, I truly want to be a mouthpiece um, to help someone else, but to also say, guess what? I am in need of help. So um, absolutely. Let's see here. We suppress so much, we begin to feel numb. Yeah, we do, we suppress so much that we do begin to feel numb. 
that it takes time for those feelings to come back. Again, that's why this practice of uh, being mindful uh, meditation is needed every single day. This cannot be an event and need, it has to be a lifestyle, a practice mm -hmm. that you do every single day. Again, cannot stress enough, the mountain is the block between you and the life that you want to live. Facing it is also the only path to freedom and becoming. When you begin to face, when you and I begin to face those mountains, a lot of times we're like, I don't want to do this. It's scary. Um, it can be intimidating. Um, someone may say on this chat, Raven, I've been feeling depression all my life. Well, guess what? You're not alone. And I'm telling you, the only way we're going to overcome all of these mountains, these things that are in our path um, and keeping us from the life that we want to live and that we're also deserving of living is that we've got to face it. And initially it's uncomfortable. It's scary. But guess what? We're equipped you have the capacity and you have the ability to do it. You're able to meditate, to manifest the world that you are deserving of and know that in your stillness, be still and know. That's how you're going to know that you know that you know that all that you need, you're already equipped with it. Let's see. Are there any other questions for Raven? What I'd like to do, Raven, if it's okay with you, is go through my last few momentum slides and gift to the audience 10 minutes that is not scripted, that they can hopefully open a window, walk outdoors, walk around the building, walk around the block, drink some something just to this. give yourself a breather. Mm -hmm. So would that be all right with you? Yes. Oh, absolutely. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, I'm going to share my screen and go through just a few slides, and then we'll hopefully gift back to you at least 10 minutes of your day. Thanks to our Momentum sponsors. They make all, all things Momentum possible. A few announcements information about our mentoring program. Our mentoring mixer will be June 26th. Those um, details will be on our website. Our next virtual training is June 19th with Jenny Golden. Um, and the QR code, it just went right by there. Let's back that up just a minute. Uh, the QR code gives us some feedback. But I did want you all to know that um, we are taking this month of may -cember and um, we are getting into more self-care. So for May and June, our topics are more around self-care. May is an insanely, insanely busy month for many people graduations, weddings, all the things that happen in May. And so we're taking some intentional time at Momentum to just pause and look at self-care. And we'll get back to refocusing on goals in um, July, but for May and June, we're just gonna take a breath and focus on our self-care. All right, anybody have any questions for Raven um, or for me from Momentum? If not, um, our session has been recorded, will be on our website, and I am gifting you 15, 14 minutes of your day. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Raven. Thank, Thank you. you. Raven. Thank uh -huh. you so much. Thank you. Momentum's virtual trainings are made possible with the support of Protective Life, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alabama, and America's Thrift. Find the full list of sponsors as well as additional resources for women leaders on our website at MomentumLeaders.org. Thanks for taking the time to invest in you, and remember to like, subscribe, and share our channel. We love reading thoughts and comments, so you can leave those for us here too. You can also connect with us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn by searching at Momentum Leaders.